Oh, I don't, I don't have that problem. I don't know if that's why I stay in East St. Louis or not, but it's 98 percent or 99 percent black anyway. But when you were developing your companies? We always had someone of a different uh, racial background in the company. You know, as I, as I look back on it, for instance, Julie Belafonte was with us for five years and other people and uh, no one, after a while, no one noticed it. He didn't have to wear dark makeup or anything like that. They were just there and a part of it, and they moved. I've discovered that if people move alike, it means that they think alike. And when you think alike, move alike, and your culture blends into another culture, then there are no racial differences. So we have always operated on that basis. My husband was white. I do not remember having any problems of color at all with him. Certainly there were people who didn't approve of it, but if I ever knew those people and could identify them, I just stayed away from them. He must have intimidated. It was their loss, not mine. <laughs> but I also know that there were, there were times when uh, you had to make a stand on any number of occasions about oh, yes. segregated oh, yes. audiences. Oh, yes, very true. It was never a problem. I just did it. You know, it had to be done. And... Uh, after one appearance in, in Louisville, Kentucky, I've never appeared, to my knowledge, before a segregated audience. I wouldn't, no matter what it cost. And this is one of the stands that I've taken in life that uh, has been not always easy. We, on one or two occasions, I believe my, my management has had to cancel because of that. That's been years ago and things that I don't even think about now. How difficult was it for you at the time, though, recognizing how talented, uh, brilliant, capable, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that you were and are, but that you still had to deal with nonsense like people saying, well, you can't come in here, you can't uh, sleep in this hotel, you can't. How did you emotionally reconcile that? Well, by little by little, I, I withdrew my emotions from it. I just simply said, look, if I cannot stay in this hotel, and my, I had a white husband and usually a white secretary by circumstance, if they couldn't find a place for me to stay or didn't, I just would go to some other place. I never yet have had to move to my knowledge, to a black neighborhood because I couldn't find space in a white one. Somehow or another it would open, and that's that. And I didn't have time to question it or wonder about it or feel about it. I just did, you know, just went ahead and did. I think sometimes we have to do that. I think sometimes we look for problems and uh, they exist, but we don't have to. They don't have to be a part of our lives. Sometimes I would feel sorry for people who were so blind as to practice discrimination, but most of the time I just simply didn't have time to think about them.